All right, we're going to screen record the Ball Clubs app. You see I'm going to go here into the Ball Clubs app. I'm going to select the Conference UAAA test game at the bottom. This test game was set up for the Challenge Cup game between Virginia and Kentucky. First, we're going to put in the lineups. Batter 1, select. This is Virginia. Going to be Patrick Center, pitcher. Two hitter is Josh Riley. I'm sorry, Chris Aninos. Aninos, center field. Third batter is Clifton, second base. Corey Booth is fourth, catching. And they see the plus 10 down at the bottom of the lineup. We're going to add a 10th hitter and an 11th. The 5 hitter is Brandon Jackson. Left field. That's Trey Porter. Shortstop. Josh Brown, middle infield. Uh, next hitter is Ricky Moyers, first base. JT Gregory, number 30. See, there's two Gregories, so you got to go by number. Third base. Actually, we're going to correct the position. He was not third base. He was extra hitter. And then J.R. Gregory, who's the top hitter. He's going to be right field. Or third. Not Gregory's going to be third, so I'm correcting the position. And then the final hitter is Will Woodworth, right fielder. All right, we close them. You can see they were saved. Kentucky. We're going to add a 10th and 11th hitter for Kentucky. It's Mitch Lindensky, center field. Josh Riley, second base. Chad Mullins, catcher. Bill Matt, third base. Jordan Taylor, right field. Taylor, right field. And it's going to be Alonzo Fields. Extra hitter, Brian Bradler. Left field, Cody Angus, first base. Josh Bantz, shortstop. Bill Pinkham, pitcher. And Kyle Whitlock, the middle infield. We finished that, looks good. We hit close. Now, if you want to switch, Kentucky's actually the visiting team, even though they're listed here as home. So you hit where it says game information. And you change the game information to be swap home and away. Close and publish lineups if they look good. Hit the publish lineups button. Kentucky's batting first, play ball. All right, we're going to start our condensed game. Try to follow along here. On the video, Mitch Lindensky walks. Josh Riley hits it into the corner for a double. Lindensky goes to third. Play complete. We're going to move the double down the line. You can just hit continue if you want, or you can hit the spray chart information. Chad Mullins. Doubles to left center. And both runs score. So you hit Riley and then he scored from second. Play continues. You can move the ball to where the position. Hit continue. Phil Matt at the plate. Matt hits a home run to left center. And then... Taylor Jordan, a single through the infield. He stretches up to a double. So he hit double. You can see him on second. 
I can move the ball if I want to do the spray chart. I can say it's a grounder through the infield. Continue brings up Alonzo Fields. Fields walks. It's first and second. Batters Brian Bradler. Bradler hits a deep left center and home run. Can move the ball where it was hit. Distance and continue. Batter is Cody Angus, who flies out to the left, fly out, F7, continue, next batter is Vance Johnson, fly out to shortstop, and that was a pop out, can move the spray chart if you want, hit continue, brings up Bill Pink. Pinkham pops out to second base. Second base four. Continue, and that's this screen here shows you the half inning. So the half inning, Kentucky seven, Virginia coming up. First three batters it shows, uh, and you want to hit continue at the bottom to score the bottom half of the first. We're only going to score one inning here. Patrick center the batter. Center singles to left. Single to left. Continue a Ninos. Ninos. Flies out to right. Where did he single? Yeah, Ninos flew out to right. Right field, play completes, continue. Batters Jacob Clifton. Clifton singles to left. Runner goes to third, so hit single, press the runner at second on the play, he advances a base, play complete, move the spray chart if he wants, continue, batter is Corey Booth, Booth hits it down the line, and a home run. So that's a homer down the line. Continue. Batters Brandon Jackson. Jackson hits it. Home run to right field. And DeAndre Porter flies out to left, so you hit fly out, F9, do the spray chart if you want. Brings up Josh Brown. You can see two outs on the scoreboard on the app. Brown hits it to left, caught for the third out. So fly out, left field. Move the spray chart, and that's your first inning. You can see it goes to the second, and basically you just continue from there. You have as a substitution, you can click the batter's name, put in a pinch hitter. You can correct stats by looking at the box score. Down at the bottom you can see the scorecard, the box score individual play and you can you can change any of these with Bradler he didn't actually hit a home run you could rescore that play right there you could add a missed substitution 
that's not true. So it's kind of a neat thing. There's a close button at the bottom for all of those. You can go back to the lineups and change those. Uh, you can go to Kentucky, go to Virginia. Like I said, that's it's pretty neat. You can hit the lineups, scorecard box, plays, Kentucky or Virginia, change the play, rescore the play, put in a pinch hitter. That's what you want to play around with. You want to play around with this Kentucky versus Virginia game. You can see the game online at on the USA live YouTube page. Search for Kentucky. Pick the Kentucky-Virginia game from 2023 Challenge Cup. You could score the whole game here on your app to get used to it. Just hit pause if it gets to be too fast. The game gets to be too fast for you to keep up. Just hit the pause button like I did. So I hit the close button here. I go back to the game. And it's pretty simple. You want to score... You want to score an entire game or two, this Kentucky-Virginia game, before you get to Vegas next week, and you'll be all set before your first game. But that said, at the end of the game, you're going to verify the score and close it. Once you close that game and verify the score, it'll be very hard to go back and change anything, but you can email me to change stats after the tournament, and we can get that done. So it's DW, working with the Ball Clubs scoring app. That's Ball Clubs with a Z at the end instead of an S. Uh, iPhone, iPad, or Android. Uh, you can run this on, and this is what conference you triple say will be using going forward. All the stats will eventually be live online, and the totals and league leaders will all be up to date at all times as long as all the teams use the scoring app correctly. So let me know if you have any questions, dw at utsa.com. Most of you have my number, and thanks for watching.